to start off it's truly really killing it all right so we're about to go catch a pet bass for my friend's aquarium and we're going to take you guys along Some true Mogans that we're not gonna hook. Addicted to the Photoshop. All right, so now we're heading to the real pond. Uh, one of my friends and I hooked like a 10 pounder there last year, and we did not catch it. So we're not going for that. We're actually going for a mini bass for the aquarium, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get it. It's beautiful. All right, so we're trying to catch a bass, really quick, and or bluegill of small size. So I've got like this little white grub on mine, and then Austin's got a little Texas rig worm, and uh, we're gonna try to get out there and catch one. And My bad. Uh, if we catch one that's like of decent size, then we'll put them in the cooler and uh, we'll bring him back to the house and get him in the aquarium. How do you feel? Well, I feel disappointed, but I also smell kind of terrible. My... Oh. It is time for some food. Deodorant and pub subs. That's yeah. good. He's camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> this was why we didn't catch any fish. Should we save a little of this as bait for when we don't catch anything? That might be helpful. Probably. I missed that. <laughs> Refueled and rejuvenated. Hell yeah. Um, we're at a new pond now. It's another one. The water level looks like it's like higher than the last one and hasn't dropped a ton. And there are a bunch of small bass in here, so uh, we're gonna give it a go. Whoa! There's so many on this thing. You can catch one. You dingus. <laughs> drastic times call for drastic measures. That's a nice size one. Perfect size. Um, we really have not come up with a name yet. So uh, let us know in the comments what you want us to call this guy. For our uh, 55 gallon uh, tank, mini bass tank, uh, should be good. So we got three in here. One small one. And here, take off the lid. Just need the small one. Goodbye, youngin. Don't drop it. You're like tilting it. Up, oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Up. Oh. oh. Wait, I can just, that's the same water. Huh? There's no bacteria built up in here, I can just do this. Yeah, that's
that's fine. Um, so we just got back, and the tank is behind me. You can see it. And it's got some driftwood in it. We'll show you what it looks like before we put the bass in. Right now, Austin is putting in some water to acclimate the fish to the water that he's got in the tank. We're going to let it sit for a little bit, and then we're going to put them in, and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so here's the tank. It is 55 gallons long. It's got a bunch of driftwood in it. Uh, there's no substrate, so it makes for easier cleaning. And it's got a nice size filter on the back, a lighting system back here. And we are going to be putting floating plants in it soon. But um, for now, it'll be just the bass. What is this? It's a uh, power head. Okay. The tank to keep the water oxygenated. So the bass don't die. Cause I, did, I used to have an air stone, but I didn't like the way it looked. So this is the move. I want to put it on the top of the tank to break the surface of the water to aerate the. Uh, so it's gonna kind of be like a river or something. The rest of the tank. Kind of look. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, we're trying to figure this out right now because this cord has to get through this lid right here, and we're considering either drilling. Oh, let's break it first. Drilling this piece here to make it bigger, or taking out this. I think we're gonna go and cut this piece out, and then that side will be able to fit out of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out this little square, so the wire from the power head can just go go outside without me having to go around this. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Perfect. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah. That looks sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the tank. One down. Two. I'm gonna put them in against the current. It's 76 degrees. Finally settled in. Still a little scared as you can tell, but they are getting adjusted. In the next few days, we'll start to feed them. I can't get the stick from her either. She won't give it to me. Sadie, come on. Can we go inside? Yeah, come inside. Come inside. Drop. 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 Okay. That was a good play. Come on. You're not going inside. I lied to you. Ready? Ready? Come on, bring it back. This is hard. She doesn't really know how to do it. Alright guys, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Also, you can hit the alert button on the channel, and you will see these guys grow as we feed them. And uh, what, you're catching grasshoppers and stuff? Yeah, worms, grasshoppers, crawfish, uh, guppies, guppies, goldfish, duck feeder fish, uh, anything to throw at them, see if they can eat it. Um, they might try and catch it in the tank. We'll see. But yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing them grow. And uh, yeah, that's about all we got. Yeet.